Hello YouTube, this is Dom from Be Creative and I am here with a tiny haul from Tuesday morning and from the Dollar Tree and I'm going to start off first with the Dollar Tree. So this is just some yarn. Yarn. This is not yarn. This is ribbon. This is the pom pom. Um, it's a Southwest Llama ribbon. <laughs> so it's got the little teeny miniature pom pom on the end of it and of course it's um, not really pom poms but you know what I mean kind of like that this is all the color. color I love this little mint ribbon and this is what gross grain but it gross grain but it's in this um, 0.5 so half an inch nine feet and that nice little um, what color am I trying to say coral but that's not the color coral it's another color you know what color I'm trying to say. Peach. What else? Something. I can't think today. This one actually has llamas on it. <laughs> uh, I just, you know, had to get it. Then they had this one is one and a half. Nice and wide. It's only nine feet as well. Going to a crop and I will be using it. I don't know when this video will be up, but anyway, I'm going to be using some ribbon to make some rosettes and stuff. So, some more of my little bows that I like to make. And then I pick up these pens, and these are 0.7, so I like the thicker ones. So I got pink and green, hot pink, a fuchsia pink, and green. Um, I don't mind writing with pink. I think pink is just not my color, but the ink is okay with pink. I just don't like paper as much pink although I'm, I'm tolerating now but I am a red girl of pink um, this is these are some graphite pencils so that's pretty much it from the Dollar Tree nothing spectacular just a little bit of haul and um, some other little household cleaning stuff which I didn't even include not much from Tuesday morning just a little bit I did get this acrylic stamp for $3.49 should have been $2.99 but um, it's written in French and um, it says scripture, so I don't know what it says. And then it has a little background with a like the hashtag. I love the little background scripts. Either one of those are great for mixed media. Just just add some depth to whatever project. I did pick this up, um, and I picked up some other a whole bunch of more of the um, creative devotion for a friend of mine. Um, she had to take to the crop and give her. I brought her pretty much a lot of the stamps and stuff that, that I've shown that I've gotten. Um, but she didn't make it Tuesday morning. And then I got this, these pens. I have black pens, but you know, I always use more um, for your machine. Plus, I want to see if these will work. They asked the free fade, fade proof, permanent water proof. Write on any surface, include us photos, stickers, ribbon, vellum, metal, glass, and vinyl. So, pretty good all surface so I did like that and then these are the gold ones and these are medium points so both of these are medium point and they opaque um, yeah so cool and they said again it's compatible with the Cricut the silhouette and Sizzix machines so they had tons of different colors which I really didn't need but I only got those because you know I have some gold ones but mine is like their ingredient size is like from 0 0.1, 0 0.3, 0 0.5, 0.7, whatever, 1.0. But this is all medium. And the same thing with the black. So just have extra of those colors compared to all the other ones. Did you pick up this little quilling tool? I mean, crease tool. See, so can't talk. Um, yeah, the crease your flowers. Just give them a little bit of dimension. And it was $3.49. For David Totoro. And I picked up this one stamp set. And I'm surprised I picked it up because I passed up on the, t on the dies. I think when the dies were out, I didn't get the dies. So I don't know. I may take this back because I've seen, I saw the dies. The dies of this one came out first and I didn't get it. And then the stamp set came out. I got the stamp set. So I don't know. So I may take that back. But anyway, that's what I got. And then last but not least, I saw this Needlecraft Style Directory book. Visual reference for over 50 Needlecraft styles and the stitches that go with them. So, I probably never read it, but I did get it. I'm going to put it on my shelf and I'll tell you why. 
when I saw it, this just took me back to my childhood. Um, my first experience with crafting, of course, was my mom and my grandmother. My mom was sewed, could sew her butt off. Um, she taught me how to sew when I was real young. And my grandmother, she knitted, she crocheted, she tattered, she did all this um, needlework, you know, with the embossing and, and tatting and just, uh, you know, cross stitch, all that kind of stuff. She did all of that stuff. Um, embroidery, she did, um, oh my gosh, I can't think of the name of all the different stuff she did. But anyway, these are a lot of the stitches that I remember. Only crafts I don't, they didn't do that I, I don't remember them ever doing was quilting. I don't remember, I don't think my mom or grandmother ever made a quilt. If they did, I don't, I don't remember that. I remember the cross stitch um, and all that kind of stuff. And just doing all of that, you know, needlework when we were kids. And, um, you know, just fun. It just took me back to my childhood and made me think of my, well, my mom. So I think of it. It made me think about my grandma. And I just miss my grandmother because she was just so patient. Just like, see, you learn this. And um, as a kid, you know, as a kid, we did it. I mean, she just taught me that joy of making something handmade and putting that love into it. So, um, like I said, if I never use this book, I don't care. It just brought back those memories and just her books that she had on her shelf with all the different um, stitches and her teaching us how to use it. And I remember her even sending us the actual classes, you know, making those little, we used to make those pie holders and stuff <laughs> and sending us to, to, to look classes. Um, they used to have the Sears Roebuck. Sears and Roebuck um, used to actually have classes for young girls to learn how to do this stuff. I remember how to learn how to stitch and to, um, not stitch, but how to do crocheting and knitting and some of this stuff. So, um, yeah, my girl used to make the doilies and um, all that kind of stuff. So anyway, I just, I'm rambling, but that was just kind of an ode to her and to my mom. And I thought I would love to have that on my bookshelf. Plus, you can also take these designs and you can use them on your paper crafts. So, you know, you can put these um, these hand stitch ones or you have a machine to do these stitches on your background to add um, texture and mixed media projects, but also on your um, ATCs, the index cards, your memory index cards, just so many things like that. Just add, even your layouts, scrap of layout. So. I thought that was great to just add to my collection. So anyway, thanks for liking, watching, and subscribing. And I dare you to be creative. Take care. God bless.